Hello and welcome to Bolt Action Reloading. Today we're going to give you an update of our Savage 110 BA Stealth Project chambered in 338 Lapua Magnum. Stick around. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how I and the rest of the community here make our group smaller, start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell icon. That way you get notified when I post new videos and you won't miss anything. In today's video, we're going to give you an update of our 338 Lapua Magnum project. As you can see, we've actually mounted our SWFA fixed 20 power scope. We've actually loaded our first 100 rounds of ammunition and we've even fired some of it. Today, basically, we're going to go over just the first 10 rounds, the velocity that we saw and what our thoughts are going forward. First, guys, let's talk a little bit about what we used to break in the barrel. If you caught the beginning of the reloading series on this, you'll know that I actually picked the 225 grain SSTs by Hornady to do our fire forming loads with. Though we're obviously not doing strict load development until the brass is fire formed, we were hoping to get a good idea of possibly a good neck tension as well as maybe a good primer to pick to load our first loads. That all being said, our first 10 shots were all actually the same. We actually picked some loader 33 and actually loaded it at 97 grains. The cartridge overall length that we picked was Hornady's 3.365 inches. The primer we used was actually the CCI 250 Large Rifle Magnum Primer. And we actually just used our factory die to resize and left the inside neck dimension at what the expander ball that came in the die left it at. So far, for every round we've shot through the rifle, we've actually had the chronograph in place. And thanks to one of my kind subscribers, I actually got the estimated velocity in quick load. So quick load's estimated velocity for this particular load would actually be 2,803 feet per second. Had we been shooting at 98, our estimated velocity would actually have only got up 39 feet per second. That's really the only source of load data we're going from off of Alliance website. For a 225 grain projectile, they actually have the max somewhere around 106 grains. But for our first rounds, we really weren't looking to load max load and start hitting pressure. We just wanted to fire form our brass and get an idea of a good place to start. However, with an estimated velocity of 2,803 feet per second, these are the velocities that we saw. I had cleaned the barrel out from the, all the factory oils, but I'm sure there were some residuals left in the barrel. Our first velocity was 2,710 feet per second. Our second shot was 2,674. Third shot down to 2,636. Fourth shot back up to 2,647. If you actually average the next six shots, we had an average velocity of 2,610 feet per second a standard deviation of 7.5 and an extreme spread of 21. Not exactly match rifle and honestly, kind of slow. So guys, basically we used those 10 rounds to get our initial velocities. We got the scope zeroed at this point and our next video, we're gonna go out and show you what those groups are gonna be at 150 yards like I always do. I've actually shot a group or two, but I haven't got the numbers put together on those yet. So basically that's kind of where we are for now. I've had a couple questions in the comments of the previous video of what I thought so far, guys, I'm pretty happy with the rifle. I'm still really getting used to it. I've obviously ran a lot of rounds for my Ruger Precision Rifle. This is not that rifle. One of the other things of note that probably isn't a big surprise is the stock. Though I'm not going to tell you you cannot shoot this rifle with this stock, I certainly so far haven't found a way to get comfortable with it. And don't be too surprised that the next time you see this rifle, there might be a Magpul PRS stock on it. But who knows, I might take it out again, give it another shot just to see. But so far, I'm not really exactly pleased with the stock and how I can get it adjusted. So that all being said, that's kind of the update for where this project is right now. I'd love to hear your comments below. What do you guys think about that velocity? Do you think that velocity is too low? Do you guys have one of these? Quick load's usually been very good about predicting our velocity that we'll see. So I'm a little disappointed to see it that far off. But who knows? We could raise that powder charge up and pick right back up. We'll just have to see what happens. But I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments section below. So guys, if you're interested in this rifle and this product goes along, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications, that way you get notified every time I post a new video. If there's something specific you want to know, again, ask that in the comments section below. I'll try and answer your guys' questions the best I can. I could put a quick shot of the brass on the screen, guys, but with a charge this low, there's really nothing to see. I might put a shot on the screen so you can see what this round looks like loaded. But all in all, I think we just need to get some more rounds down range, get some more time behind the rifle, and hopefully things will become more comfortable and we'll settle down and shoot some good groups. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Like I mentioned, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, turn on notifications, and until next week, stay safe in small groups, everyone.